everybody welcome to the studying brew episode 760 that's right 760 episodes of the studying brew Woo! that's a lot of studying uh that's a lot of nights doing this day in day out it's been great gotten great results and we love talking to you monday through thursday for this 30 minutes of fun tonight we are going to be doing the kona catchphrase it is the game that is sweeping the nation it is the game that we play to help you with those test taking techniques those observational skills if you will that's right because these exams for the sie the 663 26 65 and series 7 are more than just content it's about how you read the questions how you look through those answers how you can identify what you've been studying and applying that knowledge because you know what knowledge is not power it's applied knowledge so if you know how to apply everything that you've been studying that's the edge that's the edge that you've been looking for yeah and our pastors have said it before it's really getting down to seeing past the smoke and mirrors and if you're wondering who we are and who that who just said that my name is andy i'm the guy that runs the back office over here at kona butterflies that's brandy she is your professor your maestra your instructor of the evening she has her series 6 63 26 65 and her series 7 which makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know so that way you too can get that pass notice because why brandy it's a hot past summer that's right until we hit the fall and believe me the fall has kind of hit us already because school's back in session yeah football's back in session yeah, i can i can feel the warm sweaters and the cold air I not of, wait oh wait i, I wait. live in southern california there's no such thing as cold anything during the fall it's just summer continued this has got the, this is the kona summer hoodie it just gets dark early and it's just summer Yes. until december somewhere around there so but in still but still it's got that fall feel the vibes coming so i can't wait for that to get happening and uh we want to make sure we close out this year on top we got to start out 2024 on a whole nother level we cannot start it off like we started 2023 as if we didn't do anything and that's the key folks it's about getting your goals done it's about making it happen and we have this session right here to help all the fine people out but you know, if you need that extra, extra, no matter what you're doing, you can always join us. And uh, that paid program we got, we got a whole bunch of our own on-course, on-demand videos, audios. We got our own sound sites and even live sessions and tutoring even available for some of these uh, sessions that we offer. If you wanna know all the things that we do and how much and all that great stuff, Orientation Replay explains all the things that we do. Study guides available for the SIE 663, 20 bucks each. Yeah. And you can print those out as well. They are ebooks, but you can print them out. So if you study in the 1900s and you love your Cheeto stains and you love your highlighter marks and you love all that stuff, when you study, guess what? You can do that too. Cause that's how we grew up. That is. We grew up with all that, right? That is, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we gotta make sure we got those, uh, we got we gotta represent the 1900 studiers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. So we got our own Kona community as well on the Discord. That's where you can find Brandy. That's where she's uh, answering questions direct and indirect on all the different study channels. 24 seven study hall you can uh, get a hold of her over there. But if you want to ask me some questions and more about what the program, we got 866 Hey Kona, 866-439-562. We also have a telegram you can reach me on or you can just check out all the different bulletins and whatnot I leave over there. But scan the QR code, hit the links in the chat. That's how you get connected to all of it. So that way you two can hook up with Kona and find out all the things we got to offer and see what we could do for you. All right, we got live session reminders happening for tomorrow. Uh, what are we doing in all those different live sessions? SIE starts off the day and we are starting off with ADRs. Uh, no, that's not what I had. Yeah. Is it? ADRs, uh, rights, warrants, and penny stocks. ADRs, rights, warrants, penny stocks. Oh my. It's like all of those like extra stock things. That's how I looked at it. Yep. And then uh, that starts at 7 a.m. in Hawaii, 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. East. And uh, shout out or prayers to all of our studiers in Hawaii. Yes. We have lots of, uh, we have a lot of family, uh, Kona family over there. And we just want to say prayers to all of them, all the, all the people over there. Uh, getting, getting, uh, needing those help and the prayers and all that. So make sure that you guys uh, put your hands together and pray for them. They really got nowhere to go and uh, need really need some help. So, uh, but a lot of them are still studying. Yeah, still studying. We got some people on from Hawaii on right now. 
So 20, uh, 26 is right up after that. 9 a.m. in Hawaii, 12 p.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Mountain, 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. in the East. Live techniques. It means Brandy's going to show you how to be a technician of the live techniques and how to break those techniques down as they apply to the Series 26. Because the 26, guys, it is law. It is legal stuff. Mm-hmm. And it is can be confusing when they put all that law. Have you ever... Have you ever, I mean, more than sat through an episode of Judge Judy? I mean, like, really looked at law paperwork, the legal paperwork? Oh, my goodness. It can really get you going, like, one this way sentence. or the other. Yeah, one sentence is, like, 10, like, pages long. Yeah, for reals. So make sure that you watch uh, that or join in on that. And uh, both sessions will be recorded and out later that day. Yes. So compliance. Ooh, you're going to go over compliance tomorrow? Yeah, it's, well, I mean, that's like what the 26 is. But yeah, we're going to yeah, take that general. compliance uh, section. Yeah, you need that. Especially if you're the principal, you're the one that's supposed to be uh, making sure everybody's compliant, right? Yep, absolutely. All right, we ready to just get after it? Yeah. That's all we got, right? That is. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to say a real shout out. Jamie, she helps us out on the Discord. Uh, she just, her family needs some prayers. Uh, they got a lot going on. A lot. Um, I could take a whole episode to, to, to really dig into it, but I'm not. No. Just, she just needs prayers. Yeah. Summary, summarize, and she helps us out on the Discord. She's always answering questions over there. Uh, a lot of people know her in our family on the Discord, so make sure you just go ahead and give her lots of prayers Yes, uh, as well. All right. Now let's get into it. Let's get into the Kona Butterflies, Kona Catchphrase on a Monday. And that's right, because this is the day we teach you those different techniques and all that way just by observing. And we play it in a game. Uh, so what we do is we put answers up on the screen for end questions up on the screen from uh, QBank. I don't know which QBank brand you grabbed these from. Doesn't matter because we got rules. Some No, not tonight. Test taking techniques. We got yes, rules. Yes, yes, yes. But we do have rules because it <laughs> doesn't matter. Yes. Because you don't, you don't need to know. You don't need to really focus on what Q bank it is, Mm-mm. what exam question it really is. Oh, that's difficult. Oh, am I going to see that on the exam? That's where you really need to stop yourself and really look at what we're trying to teach you here, which is really how to observe these answers and these questions in a different way. Yes. How to look at them, how to dissect them. Have you guys ever watched any of those Born Identity movies or the Mission Impossibles? Like when those guys like face off with somebody and they got like a gun to their face and all of a sudden they like take the gun from them and they like basically leave it in parts on the floor. Yeah. That's what we want to do to these multiple choice questions. We literally want to take them apart and just disarm them. Yes. So we're going to show you how to do that just by observing the answers and then the questions. So what we don't want, and this is the rule part, no, we don't want you to just put, oh, the answer's B. Oh, the answer C on that one. You're not learning. We want you to put what you're observing. What in the answers can you see could lead to possibly the correct answer? Yes. Like, do I see two answers that are opposite of each other? One's up, one's down. That's what I mean. One says left, one says right. That. Uh, We also got Mona. If you're brand new, we'll explain that. I'm sure there's going to be a question in there that has that. Uh, it do, does any of them have a Mona? Can we eliminate? Is there accept uh, in the questions? Look for the accept. Is it a not? Is it? Are we looking for a certain pattern that uh, that really points us in the right direction, guys? Sometimes when we have two answers that are similar, one of those is going to probably be the answer. It's like it's not one hundred percent all the time, but right. usually you got a great chance those one of those two is going to be it. Absolutely. So. We want to look for all these different things and just put in the chat what you think all the different little things you see are that can help you really get to the right answer. Guys, because it doesn't matter what QBank you're using. It doesn't matter how well you're scoring in said QBanks. It really doesn't because the exam is completely different. It's not those questions. It's not any of that. So you really got to prepare yourself outside of that and really give yourself a good look at something else that will help you sharpen those skills so that when you're faced with exam questions that you don't know, you have a tac- you have a tactic, tactical way to really take them apart and really disarm them so they're not anything big and scary. Yes. And usually those questions are intimidating. They can be. They, they can be. Mm-hmm. And they wear you down. Yeah, they do. So if you learn these technicians, it'll also help you with your stamina. Yes. So let's get after it. All right. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. All right. 
D, joint life with last survivor. C, life with period certain. B, life only. A, straight life. Ooh. A lot of life. <laughs> I don't know about straight life. Uh, They're all life. They, they are all life, yes. I'll explain A. No, I know what straight life is. I think it's just funny. Yeah, I, mean, I know. You could take it in so many different ways. Life only. Uh, B is very is an only. Exactly. That's part of the Mona, right? Mm -hmm. uh, last survivor. Joint life with last survivor. Mm -hmm. Life with period certain. Guys, what are you seeing in all these? A and B are similar. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. These are similar, so similar that they're probably almost like the same. Well, let's take it out of securities. Mm -hmm. If I said a whiskey straight up, what does that mean? Nothing in it, right? Just the glass and the whiskey. Whiskey only. If I said whiskey only, what does that mean? The same thing, right? Just the glass mm -hmm. and the whiskey. Right. I want nothing but smudges on the side of the glass. That's about all the difference I want in that glass. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if they're two similar things, then guess what? We can't have one or the other. They You can't have two the same. So now we're down to a C and D question answer. Right. We're already down to 50%. And guess what we haven't seen? We haven't even seen the question. We haven't even seen the question. So let's look at the question and see what we got. Bum, 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 bum. Gertrude purchased a variable annuity contract to fund retirement for herself and her husband, Harry. If she wants to maximize the amount of the payout, but also provide lifetime income for Harry in case she dies first, what is the most appropriate settlement option? Look at. Remember, we're not going to put we're not going to put the answer. We're going to put what in the question or the keywords that we need to look for. Remember, it's pretty obvious what we could probably get is the right answer, but we want to start really looking at those keywords. Survivor. Guys, remember, the real exam is going to be worded different and could be even a lot longer. So you got to be really good at observing stuff. So I know that they're making the connection. Right. But the word survivor is not in the question guys no so it's how not how are you linking the survivor to the question i know that this is probably like no dub randy and i totally understand but remember we're preparing for the big game here in an exam exactly. she dies first i i'm i'm thinking of and her husband like that's really it guys and her husband that was the link but and and, and but also so an and or her husband is a joint life right because that's yeah. joint they're together and but also right that's and joint. also with the survivor exactly so guys that's what i wanted you to pay attention to because yes this is a variable annuity yes this was easily these, answered as d all of these choices are variable annuity payouts but what I wanted you guys to see is that what linked it to D specifically was the fact that it was a joint with Last Survivor. Dies first, it, it could have been a link to it. But what if somebody dies first? That mean, that could also mean an estate. That could also mean leaving them with um as a uh, beneficiary right so it doesn't really give us that joint life with last survivor like we want right because i've seen quiz questions when it's regarding variable annuities uh gertrude dies during the accumulation period harry gets the proceeds because he's her beneficiary you see what i'm saying it has so nothing I, to do with last survivor right so i wanted you guys to see the the link specifically to this particular word because remember, we're preparing for the exam where it's not going to be worded like that. And it's the trickiest thing while you guys are studying. Do not master QBanks. No. I know that's weird for most people that say that, but I'm telling you, these what we have a really hard time doing is we think that if we master a particular QBank, we're going to get the pass notice. And it's not. It's right. about learning how to really look for the keywords that really get you that right answer. See through it. No matter what they do. Right. And. Her husband was the key. Yes. All right.
Right on, Gertrude. All right. Anonymity? Anonymity? Anonymity. An anonymity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ability to offset passive income with the passive losses. B, liquidity. A, lower risk. Yes, C is just a long answer. Some people that are new, they're like, really? That's what we're observing? Yes, that does help. It does really help. Yes. Sometimes we just kind of just define what our questions, our answers are right there, right? Yeah. Liquidity, cash, right? Yeah. Cash money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Lower risk. What does that mean? Is anything similar? Invisible. D is invisible. Yes. C, pass along. B, marketable. A, safer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Let me, let me finish. I always think A and B are kind of similar. Mm, Just in yeah, the fact sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes that is true. A major benefit of direct participation programs, DPP, you know me, is... There you go. Benefit. Yes, that's the key word. Now, without thinking, what's the answer? Without thinking. Without thinking. I should see it. I should see it in the chat. I should see it in the chat without thinking. What is it? Without thinking. What is it? That's right. Let's see. Yes. Why? Passive. It's the longest answer. Yeah, and it's the longest one. Yeah. Um, A, B, and D don't match with DPPs. Yeah, and it's very, and, and DPPs, I think the major keyword for me is always passive. Those are the yeah. two words I always connect together. If I see DPP, 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 I'm just putting passive. Exactly. And guys, you know what? When I pulled this question, I just clicked on C because it was the longest. No one put that as a keyword, by the way, passive. No. Just want to point that out. No. I And honestly, guys, um, I, I got it just because it was the longest. Is that how you got it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. D, systematic risk. C, stock it. <laughs> stock it. Stock market risk. B, non-systematic risk. A, market risk. Every time I hear systematic risk, I always go, it's systematic. B and D, opportunity or opposites? Opposites. <laughs> B and D are definitely opportunity. Opposite. Uh, yeah, everybody's catching that. Okay, cool. What's the other cool. thing we can catch? Cool, 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 cool. A, and D are similar, says Jason Croft. These are similar. B and D is business risk. Doesn't matter. If they're similar, we can already cross them out. And I'm going to do this too. Stock market risk, question mark, but the fact that it says market and market, I, I'm going to relate that. So to this me. is me. And I, I mean, I, don't, I'm, I know people are putting the stuff in there and I think we're pretty much at it. Mm -hmm. uh, market risk, systematic re risk are so similar, are similar. So I would mark those off already. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah. And then I already have that as an opposite to, to non-systematic. B is the answer without looking at the question. I don't even know what the question is, guys. So if you're on here and you're like, I don't know about this stuff and I'm not paying attention, you just got an answer right without even looking at the question, just observing. Sorry, I, I know I wrote similar for market and systematic, but I meant to write same. That was my bad. My yeah, bad. similar um, and same. Because we because the way I look at it is that it's the whole system, the market. We, we refer to the market as the whole thing. Which is the system. Which is the system. And the system is the market. Correct. So let me explain this real quick. So when you guys do see something like that, where, um, where these two are the same, it's kind of like this question up here where, um, A and B were the same. So we immediately crossed those off because they don't work. So well, you can't have both of them as right. Right. So those don't work. Right. Cause they are the same thing, but because we saw that B and D were opposite. Yes. Normally. That would be D would be the double dip. However, because we already crossed it off, then that's the answer. Exactly. Because we, already, we already crossed it off because they were in the same. Right. Makes sense. Let's look at the question and look for those keywords. Diversification of a stock portfolio, portfolio, portfolio will help to reduce. Diversification of a stock portfolio will help to reduce. Yes, reduce. And what's the other word? What's the other word? There you go. There you go. Boom. 
That's it. Yep. Non-systematic. Because we diversify because of something that was not in the system, something that throws a monkey in the wrench, a wrench right. in the monkey, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know the what I mean? Monkey. Monkeys oh. are throwing wrenches. Wrenches are being thrown at monkeys. I don't know how the whole thing goes. Don't throw wrenches at monkeys, though. Yeah. Anyways, D, Mr. A buys a security right before he knows that his client is going to make a large purchase of the same security. C, Mr. A borrows money from a client's account. B, Mr. A recommends a penny stock for a climate client who has a low risk tolerance. A, Mr. A has discretionary power over a client's account and excessively trades AT&T stock for the client in order to generate extra commissions. Uh... <laughs> okay. A and C are obviously bad. Uh, they're all bad. Yeah, I just said I wasn't giving it away. Uh, but someone did say A and C are bad. A through C. Um, power over account. Okay, hold on. Hold on. There's a lot there. Accessible. Um, power over an account. I like that. Um, And excessive. Um, and then let's see. Power over an account. A penny stock. Borrow money. And excessively trade excessively trade okay recommend I'm, stock can i make it even smaller i'm gonna make it even smaller. i like andy yes i know you like that okay look i'm looking at excessive and generate extra commissions we know that that's bad right um i'm gonna recommend a penny stock with a low risk tolerance bad i'm gonna borrow money from a client bro bad yeah bad 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 and i'm gonna buy a security right before he knows that somebody else is going to buy it so he's line cutting so you, if you guys look at what i circled that's all our key points key points remember our keywords excessive generate commissions something risky for a low risk borrow money from a client before he knows so now we just got to pick the bad right which of the following examples best describes a broker who has churned an account? Mm -hmm. Someone already put it in there too. They're like churning, age, churning, churn, right. churned. Does that sound like risky for a low risk person? No. No. Does that sound like borrowing money from a client's account? No. Does that sound like, like you're line cutting? No. So it must be excessive. Churning is like churning butter. I don't know butter. how you've churned butter, but you, you're folding over and over to get more yield, right? Right, right. You're making butter. Yeah. That's excessive. In this case, he's making cash. <laughs> right? There you go. So you just pick the bad. Yep. Just pick the bad. Pick the bad. D, tax-free contributions. C, tax-free distributions. B, up to $10,000 in loan forgiveness. A, federal tax credit for qualified educational expenses. Number is in B. Let's pick B. No, I'm just kidding. C and D are opposites. Uh, about ESA. C and C. C L B number A five twenty nine. Hmm. Um. Not A. Not five twenty nine. She said slash Coverdale. Yeah, it's but not that either. It's not that either. Mm -mm. Uh, qualified educational expense. Uh, educational A. Mm -mm. Um. Let's just read the question. How about? Let's look for the keywords. Which of the following is the primary benefit of a 529 college savings account? Yes, 529. Uh, primary benefit. Benefit. There we go. Okay. I really need to teach 529. We're talking about 529 plans on Wednesday. I'm just going to go there. <laughs> After after what I'm seeing in the chat, we, we people are, are lost. We are going to talk about 529 plans. <laughs> Guys, we already said C and D are opposite. 
Yeah, so that means one of the uh, they didn't hear me in the beginning when I said see if you have an opposite usually right. that's the one. Right. Uh those is it. Yeah. So that's it. Uh there you go. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Guys, we we're we're, we're, we're going to do hard hitting Wednesday and we're going to talk about hard hitting Wednesday. I mean, like some of the people are answering and they're like already passed their exams and they not yeah. learn the tech. Yeah, guys, you don't get a federal tax credit. No, no, you don't. No, uh, that tax credits are in the form of kids and um, historically rehabilitating or providing government housing. But not for 529. No. Remember, keep it simple, guys. C and D or opposites got to be one of the two. Yeah. Quit looking at A and B. Keep it to the techniques. <laughs> a, never. B, as long as the projection is based on a third-party research. C, as long as the firm's projection is based on an actual historical performance going back at least five years. D, as long as the firm's projection is based on a specific category of investments. <laughs> well, I see one never. I see only one of the Monas up there, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume A is probably like an exception or something like that. If we're looking for a standout in the question. That's what I do. I like that. It's very long. I don't know why, but I feel like when you say you're projecting, you can't really project. Oh, wait, wait, what? Where did you get that word from? I'm just saying. Where, wait, where did you get that word? Yes. Projections in uh, B, C, and D. And you said nobody what? else picked it. By the way, I know nobody else picked that. And you said what? Uh, you can't project based on anything. You can't project. What are you, Dion Warwick? You're not Dion. No. What are you, the Psychic Network friends? Of course not. Warwick, right? Sure. Because I, I know a Warlick, so I would get no work. Okay. Right. So then, what did the, so when it, <laughs> so when did the answer be a? Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. In its communications with the public, when is a firm allowed to project performance of future investments? Never, yeah. never ever. I was just gonna answer. That. Never. Did I answer that one? Yeah, I did. Never ever. Never yes. ever. Never ever. And, and guys, look at Andy didn't read the question. We don't talk about this stuff. I half, I half, uh, half a cheek looked at all the answers too. And I was gonna say the A word, but I remember this is a G rated. Yes, and and guys, he, we don't talk about this stuff ahead of time. We don't. He he was not looking over my shoulder, guys. He pulled projection out and said we don't do projections. Uh, he used the other answer choices to kind of guess where we were gonna go with the question. New probably that the answer was a based on the fact that B, C, and D were talking about projections guys we we definitely overlook those huge hints every single time we're taking this yeah it's like it's like when someone's talking about putting spaghetti noodles in a taco that just don't happen that's horrible that's gross you don't do that but do you guys like, see i'm ignoring you it's right like putting now. ketchup on a taco i did that Disgusting. one time I did that one time. My I will brother judge in law, you. My brother-in-law did it one time. It's disgusting. It was a carb. I slapped that taco out of his hand and I said, no, he no, used, never in my presence. He used the pre-made ones too. It's, it's disgusting. Not it's not good. Anyways, but do you guys see where I'm going with this? He already knew the, the question before we even saw the question, simply because B, C, and D said the word projection in it. Okay. Yes. I, I wanted to point that out because so many times, guys, if we're not observing correctly, we're missing that. Hey, two main things you need to learn about the securities business right here. Two main things. One, there's no guarantees. Right? Correct. You cannot guarantee something. You can't. Next one, you cannot project the future. No. How? You cannot predict it. You can't project it. Because do you know how many people would be tra would be projecting pr predicting the stock market? Do you know people would not be losing money on the stock market if they could predict the future? If I could predict the future, I would not be sitting here. No. And nor should. That's it. Nor would your advisor. No, man. Because if I am using it to <laughs> get my kidding? clients rich, I'd be getting myself rich. I'm just saying. Keep that secret to yourself and you I'm just sorry. go retire in some island. And we know what happens when you go back into your past. If you know the future, you change everything. It's the butterfly effect. 
Wow. I know. I went deep on I would that. take the risk. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take the risk all day long. <laughs> Just saying. All right, everybody. That was it. We had some fun. We uh, hope we, we schooled you on a couple things there. At least you know now in securities business, you can't guarantee and you can't predict the predict the future. No. Not even if you're even if you're part of uh, Miss Cleo's. Miss Cleo. Miss Cleo and her her psychic friends can't do it. You can keep on nope. Them. Nope. Can't do it. Can't predict the future. All right, everybody. We got live sessions happening tomorrow for all of our members. Plus, we'll be back tomorrow night for test taking techniques. Tuesday, we'll do all the heavy lifting. You guys do all the learning. Same bat time, same bat channel. Until then, everybody, stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you guys for being on. We super appreciate you guys. Practice the Kona catchphrase in your next quiz. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one. Good night.